right, welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Four reviews up this week. The first of which is Defend from Candyland. Um, still not sure how they're getting away with that title. Um, my first piece of advice is maybe change it before Hasbro gets wind. H- Hasbro is very litigious. And I'm pretty sure, like, Candyland is a trademark of theirs. Like, I I don't know if it's because they smashed Candyland together and Candyland in the sense of the board game is two words. But I'm like, I'm not a trademark lawyer or copyright or whatever this would fall under. But you are playing with a bit of fire here. That much I do know. Anyway, with that aside, this is a single-player top-down tower defense game. Using pixel-based art as a brilliant game for all ages, I don't know about that, um, to join in the battle against the evil candy. Work your way through the levels with preset maps and waves, or see how long you last in endless mode to save the world from the endless candy threat. So, yeah, um... This is a tower defense game where I assuming your parents would approve of it because well I guess you're not playing as vegetables per se you know you're you're playing as plant life because you got a lot of non-edible trees here stuff like that but you do have um all your ammo is based off of vegetables and fruits. So, you know, healthy foods. And you've got to destroy candies. That once you destroy your base for whatever reason that has been contrived here. And... I guess there's no soft way to say this. I'm like, but... Yeah, this is a tower defense game. Like, that is to say, if you've played a tower defense game, you've probably played this game. Because, you know, it does all of the basics of what a tower defense game does. I think about the only... um, unique wrinkle that this thing offers is the fact that um, it's actually fairly generous in providing you with preset assets. This is a um, each board has a number of uh, turrets, let's call them. Um, you know, the, the, the various towers already on the field. You don't see that with a lot of tower defense games. You know, you you do have to suss that out yourself. Um, you know, you still do have to do the basic tower defense strategies. You know, you, you got to figure out what um, towers to put down, um, what to upgrade, what to get rid of, what passages to block, you know, all of the all of the tower defense things that you would be expected to do. And Petty, I'm guessing you're not very good at tower defense. Not really. Cuz geez, state your uh, strategy here. Yeah, uh, and you're not going to be able to block off the entire um w- row or you know you you do have to leave a path Mm -hmm. you know you will have to you know if you have multiple paths you you know your stratagem should and will include um not necessarily bottlenecks but the closest thing you can get to bottlenecks in a tower defense game like a better idea here is to uh, like make the candies go up and down the long Mm. way around. Yeah. 
and you know you're going to want to upgrade uh, some of the trees to do more damage. And that's always the balancing act. What you upgrade, you know, like um, later on, uh, you will get more powerful um, cannons, like the you know the cherry bomb thrower. Um, but those are much more expensive, not only to produce, but to upgrade. Um, and, you know, right now he's facing the units that are called the Little Jellies. You know, those are the basic ass um, mobs. But later on, you're going to encounter things like the, the goddamn gummy bears who are awful and I hate them. And the flying saucers, which are your... You know, they'll get over your ground forces, but your uh, air turrets, um, or in this case, are the flying carrots, those will make short work of the carrots or uh, the, the flying saucers. Once again, a, a pretty typical uh, tower defense enemy. Like, and that's really the central thesis or the central point I keep coming back to in this game. This is a very, very typical tower defense game. You know, strip away all of the candy versus vegetables veneer. And yeah, this could be eye bomber defense, field runners, um, not defense grid, because that's actually a much more elaborate um tower defense game um not every tower defense game because there is a branch of tower defense games where you have an avatar uh, on the field and sometimes that avatar has um the ability to attack and you can have multiplayer with those avatars like um south park let's go tower defense comes to mind uh, as one example or pixel junk monsters is another but, yeah. Um, that's basically where I come down here. This is so okay it's average. It's not, you know, it's not doing anything bad, but it's not doing anything particularly new or different or interesting either. It's like, you know, if you played a tower defense game, you played this game just, you know, without this particular skin. And that unfortunately kind of rolls into the price because um, this game clocks in at ten ninety nine, eleven dollars Oof. Yeah. Um, no. No. That's a little too expensive for a tower defense game that that's this basic, both in uh, tactics and production value. You know, it's like if you want to get if you want to get a tower defense uh, game, um, I'd recommend like one of the I bomber games. Sure, they're fairly old at this point, but they're half. Just one of these is half the price and about the same amount of gameplay. Um, it does boast 120 missions uh, along with the en endless mode, but once again, that's pretty comparable to other tower defense games you get. And yeah, that's about all I got for uh, de uh, Defend from Candyland here. Um, sorry, I think I was calling it Escape from Candyland. Um, yeah. Not sure why. Um, but, yeah, uh, Defend from Candyland here. It's a total 5 out of 10. You know, I don't hate it, but I don't particularly like it either. I mean, we get these games every now and again. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh shrug so yeah that'll about do it for this um be sure to tune in after the break as petty will be reviewing june shining